Hi, my name is Colleen Taylor. You're watching TechCrunch TV. Here with me in the studio, I'm pleased to have the founder and CEO of Stitch Fix, Katrina Lake. Stitch Fix just raised four and a half million in Series A funding, and Katrina is here to tell us all about the company. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, so, like I said, explain to me and to those people out there what Stitch Fix is. I think it's it's really gotten a lot of viral growth and there are a lot of people out there who are obsessed <laughs> with it now, but there are a lot of people who don't know what it is yet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so at Stitch Fix, we're making personal shopping accessible. So um, we're bringing kind of the best of having a stylist, the best of being able to have access to kind of new and interesting brands, um, but we're bringing it at an accessible price point. So our average price point is $65 and everything in here is truly personalized. So um, we, based on a client's size and style and cut and lifestyle preferences, each fix is actually um, curated like exactly for you and so we have five items in here that kind of match your preferences um, it's all a surprise but based on you know kind of what you're looking for and what we know about you and what you guys kind of say that's interesting is is there's a sort of Pandora radio you know analogy to make here because it, it kind of gets better as time goes on. Exactly, yeah. And Pandora is a great example of who we kind of look to at the beginning of for inspiration to people who are doing interesting things with, um, you know, style can feel very personal, it can feel very ambiguous, but there are things about it that you can kind of pinpoint and start to put data and structure around. Um, and so we really do think of our kind of back end as looking like Pandora. So we have attributes for all of our clients, we have attributes for all of our um, items, and you know each client is unique, and um, the combination of each client and each item is going to be different for each person. Okay. Um, so we're able to you know provide our stylists with tools like that to help them style for you better. And I'm super excited because you brought by this box which has it's it's for my profile, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how on point it is for the first box. But um, let's talk quickly about the funding here, because yeah, Series A, tell me, give me some numbers here. So we um, we've raised four seven five from Baseline and Lightspeed, um, and they've been fantastic partners, and we're excited to grow the business. Um, as you said, we've had an enormous amount of viral traction, and we've been featured on a lot of blogs, and um, there's been a lot of word of mouth that's helped us grow, and you know we want to be able to be prepared to, um, to serve the growth that we've been having, um, and also to continue to build our tools. So, um, you know, underlying what we do, we are able to do what we do because we have kind of world-class tools using data analytics and algorithms to help our buyers buy better and to help our stylists style better. Um, so we actually have a lot of kind of technology and infrastructure that we've been building and that we've been working on over the past um, 18 months or so. Um, and so really extending the technology side of our business is a big part of the funding as well. Cool, because you guys have something like 10,000 clients out we there. Do. And how many staff? So we have 10,000 clients. They're served by less than a dozen stylists. Um, so our stylists are very efficient. <laughs> um, and you know they really use the tools that our kind of technology team is able to provide for them. Right, so there's a real tech angle there. It's not just personal stylists. Um, yeah, exactly, the, yeah. Cool, so take me through the process before we open up the box. What would I have done to get to this point? Sure, so um, to sign up, you let us know your, um, general size and style preferences. So it's a 10 minute long survey. We'll include um, you know, questions that are pretty basic around kind of your height and weight and your size. Um, and then we get to know your style a little bit. So we'll ask you how much you affiliate with different kind of types of styles. So classic or bohemian or romantic. And we show you kind of a guide to understand like is this something you really like or something that you stay away from. Um, and as I said, you know, it is kind of like Pandora. It's, uh, each fix is unique, so um, it's not as though you're getting pigeonholed into one profile or another, but all of that kind of, e all of those data points is kind of the genome for like who you are from a style perspective and how you fit with our inventory. Um, so you take about a 10 minute long style profile and then you select a date that you want to get a fix um, and then you'll have the stylist selected set of items to try on. And this shows up and you guys call this box. We What's call it a called? stitch fix, exactly. Okay. And so a stitch fix will usually contain um, four apparel and one accessory items that are, it's a total surprise what you'll get in there, but it's suited to kind of your preferences and what we know about you, and importantly, what we learn about you too, as we get to send you multiple fixes and get to know you better. So the idea is, if anything, this would be like the worst stitch fix that I'd get. It would yes. keep getting better from here. But That's absolutely here's hoping that this is good. So I've got a signed note from my stylist, Brittany, which is very nice. Um, great, so let's 
Let's so we'll explain it here how it works. It's right here on the box. So it really is around kind of discovery um, and then being able to try things on at home. Um, so a lot of what Stitch Fix was was really peeling back the whole shopping experience for women and you know starting from scratch and saying like what do women want um, so trying things on in the context of your closet trying things on at home really easy returns right um, all of these are things that we kind of actively thought about from the beginning so I don't necessarily pay for anything until you know I decide that I want it you or pay I for what you keep there's right. a $20 styling fee so when we fit when we ship your fix you'll be charged $20 but that $20 is credit in your fix for whatever you decide to purchase. Um, and when you check out, it's very important for you to leave us return feedback of like, I like this, I didn't like this, and why. Um, and that's a really important part of how we start to learn. Right, and cool, so this is a very cute silk tank top, and I'm seeing that you guys have this kind of tag that you know really kind of tells me how I would wear it? Yeah, so each item actually has, um, we call it a style card on it, that helps you to put an outfit together with it. So okay. I think a lot of women um, appreciate a little bit of guidance when you're trying things on in your closet, of thinking, okay, how versatile is this? Can I try this on with jeans? Can I try this on for work? Um, so the styling cards are another way for our stylists to kind of add a little bit of value in offering suggestions. And we hear that women kind of pin them up next to their closet for outfit inspiration every day. And Right, yeah, because it actually, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it has um, this kind of whole idea of how you'd put it together. This is the one tank top. Um, cool, and, and like we said, this is a silk top. I mean, this isn't cheap stuff. This is, you're kind of, what, what's your demographic here? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, you know, we find... In general, I think our demographic is women who are busy, who have an interest in fashion, and um, or have an interest in looking good, which is really most women, um, but just don't have time. And so, you know, we have women who have kids, who have young kids. Taking a toddler to a Bloomingdale's is a nightmare. Right. <laughs> um, you know, even people like we have a lot of working professionals. Um, so, you know, our, our our average woman is, you know, she's in her kind of young 30s, and she's at a place in her life where she wants to look good, and she wants to be confident in what she's wearing, and she wants wants to look on trend, but not necessarily, you know, fast fashion and not necessarily trendy. Um, and really just kind of being able to have that kind of seamless look of being able to look pulled together when you go to work or when you're going to the grocery store. Um, and, you know, that's kind of the look that we're look that we're going for. And I think a lot of women turn to us for, um, for you know, just a little bit of help and help, like, having their wardrobe up to date. Right. And, um, and this is also really cute so so there's normally sort of five things in each fix and then yep. you keep what you keep and you send back what you don't and exactly. that in itself kind of teaches you guys whatever I sent back is something that you wouldn't send me something like that again exactly so you can imagine you know Amazon has a fantastic recommendation engine you can imagine if Amazon had um, the level of feedback on every single item of like why you decided to buy or why you decided not to buy something and just how powerful that recommendation engine gets over time um, so we um, you know we have wonderful clients who leave us really detailed feedback about you know what they like and what they don't like and you know how things are working out and that really helps us to get better really quickly cool and um, so I would say that my final verdict is I would probably keep like three out of five of these things. I'd probably oh, keep the necklace and two of these tops and then send the other things back and then I'd pay for what I keep. And the other exactly. nice thing is I guess I, I'm seeing you're you're saying that this isn't like a monthly thing where I'm going to keep receiving these boxes and they're going to pile up. I kind of gauge when I want to receive the next one. Sure. We have um, we have a segment of people um, who get them monthly, so there's a way to say I'd li I like my fix to be shipped every month. Um, but um, we it really is meant to be kind of you can schedule a fix for when you like it. So you just let us know when you like your next fix, and um, you know there's no obligation. It's really meant to be kind of whenever you need a little infusion of fashion in your life. Cool. And um, this is great. Thanks for showing me this stuff. Um, what's next for you guys, I mean, with this new funding? What's the growth from a product perspective? Um, it's a great question. I think, you know, w right now we've been we've grown a ton in the last few months. So we are twice as big as we were in December and triple as big as we were in August. Um, and it's been kind of, we've been really excited to see all the growth and we've been really excited to see all the traction. So, you know, first and foremost, 
we want to be able to support the growth that we've been having and you know make sure that we can grow and scale the business um, you know I think the other side is really around the platform and the tools um, so as I said you know the reason that we're able to do personal styling at this kind of accessible price point is um, is because our stylists are armed with these tools that make them really efficient and it makes it so we can take some of the guesswork out of buying and styling um, and the tool side is something that we've discovered is really unique in the retail market and nobody else has done some of the things that we've done um, so really starting to um, invest in the tools that we're building and thinking about how um, you know how the tools can currently they're helping our team and our stylists but there's certainly interest from retailers of you know being able to white label it or being able to kind of have access to those tools um, and those are also things that we're interested in kind of investing more time and time into. Cool. So something like that could make it so that this would go to, you know, the mail market or something like that if, if it went white label. Is that something that you guys are thinking of doing yourselves? It sounds like you have a big opportunity just with women. Yeah, we, we have a huge opportunity with women and you know, I think part of what Stitch Fix is, men and women shop very differently. I think men tend to buy a lot at once, once or twice a year. Men tend to do a lot of reordering of styles that they know that work for them. Um, so, you know, I don't know that it's a perfect analogy and we have plenty to focus on in women for now, um, but it really is around the tools, around kind of, our, we call it the styling cockpit. So um, when Brittany went to style your fix, she could see all of your profile information, all of your historical information, um, and then she has our inventory like ordered and kind of or, like level of appropriateness for you. So our stylists are still super hands-on. She can go to your Pinterest page. She can get inspiration from um, kind of what you've said before, or what you know, what you're showing us, or what you're asking for. Um, but she also has at her disposal. You know, if you ask, I just need a little black dress, you know, we'll know, the algorithm will kind of know which ones are going to be better for you for a size and cut perspective um, than some other of the black dresses. So we, that's kind of an example of the types of tools that we have that take data analytics and algorithms and actually place them into retail and place them into kind of a real um, business tool um, that today our stylists are using for Stitch Fix, but, um, you know, are very, they're really interesting in terms of how they can affect recommendation engines elsewhere and how they can affect styling elsewhere. Cool, sounds like potentially very valuable stuff, So, uh, which makes sense that investors are jumping on it. Um, Katrina, thank you so much for coming by and talking to us about Stitch Fix, and please keep us posted going Absolutely. forward. Absolutely, thank you very much for having me.